The prison service has been given the green light by government to employ 1,000 personnel to enable it to carry out its mandate. This was announced by the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, when inaugurating a 13-member Ghana Prison Service Council in Accra. The Ghana Prison Service is facing a lot of challenges, including the lack of modern facilities to house inmates, overcrowding, inadequate financial support, lack of accommodation for personnel, and a yawning inmate and officer ratio. To address the overcrowding at the various prisons, the Prisons Council in 2015 introduced the Operation Efiasi to raise funds to expand facilities. But the problem is far from over, and the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, charged the new Prisons Council to devise strategies to tackle the challenges head on. Our facilities have not seen much improvement over the years. They are highly, in fact, inhumanly overpopulated and crowded with their attendant threat of outbreaks of diseases negative survival behaviors, and human rights abuses. It is my hope that under this council and with the support of the government, you, will, you shall work hard to end the record of being the ones to right these wrongs in our prison facility. I must say that I have followed this extensively, the Justice for All program, and I'm happy that with, with what it has achieved so far. I think it has been a very useful policy in helping to ease congestions and human rights abuses in the prisons. I am also aware of the poor ratio of personnel to inmates in the Ghana prison service. This is one reason why the performance of all of our prison services continue to fall far below the required U.S. standard. To address this gap, Government has requested the prison service to initiate the process of recruitment to increase the personnel level and improve it on our services. The Ghana Prison Service has been given approval to recruit 1,000 personnel to meet the international best practice, at least to make progress towards meeting the international best practices in prison administration. In addition, Getting regular water supply for the prisons received mention by Dr. Baumia. Like when you look at the population of the prisons and the, the struggle, especially the men's wing and the women's wing, the access to water is a major issue. So two weeks ago, I called the Ghana Water Company to raise this issue with them. And the MD has directed the borehole drilling unit, in, uh, which is actually based in the Akumasi uh, section. And I've been in touch, actually, with that <coughs> borehole drilling unit manager to see how we can quickly assess the state of water supply in our prison. This is your first assignment. Let's solve this water challenge together in the prisons. Uh, whatever it takes, let's do it. Uh, so that by the end of the year, we can report that we've solved the water challenge in the prisons, whatever we need. As for the location of resources, I, like, I also like you to know that in terms of the joint venture we've entered with, in, with China, we are providing 25,000 homes for the security services. So you would be very well catered for the prisoners uh, the, the prison officers will be well catered. A member of the council, Reverend Dr. Upunifrimpong, said the new council will work to ensure the challenges are brought to a minimal level. As we assume this genuine word of the initiative that the previous Ghana Prison Service Councils uh, have initiated, uh, the FIAC project that at the moment um, many people have bought into it and are supporting. As we come into uh, this assignment, we hope that we'll be able to give it a new phase that through the Project Fiasse we'll be able to mobilize resources to supplement whatever effort the government uh, will be giving to us. 
to perform our assignment. You mentioned overcrowding, and it's an issue that it seems to me the new council must pay much attention to because we are aware uh, the place of human dignity in the place of, of your government, His Excellency's own uh, public utterances, we are aware that he paid much attention to issue of human right, human dignity, and we feel the overcrowding issue must be uh, given much attention. The 13-member council is chaired by Reverend Peter Paul Yelizomi Anchur with the Interior Minister, Mr. Ambrose Derry, the Director of the Ghana Prison Service, Mr. Patrick Dakumisa, Dr. Frank Ankobia, and Mr. Kwesia Mwakwenje as members. The others are Madame Yvonne Akakura Obobisa, Mr. Benjamin Akonuotu, Dr. Opunifrin Pon, and Mr. Samuel Akampure Akolbire, Ms. Dokaz Boama, Bupewura Mahama Abdullah Jinapo, Madame Sarah Adetola, and Madame Matilda Bafwewa are the other members.